I wonder if there's one play. <laughs> I didn't want to get a copyright strike for, for the copyright strike for the temptations. Okay, uh, really quickly here, I wanted to pop on here, do a quick video. Um, God gave me a dream, and He allowed me to see um, what some people would take as like uh, a smack at them. You know, what I saw it as, and what was kind of revealed to me during the dream was how far God has brought me in a sense of worshiping um, people. I would idolize my family because ever since I was young, you know, I, I would, you know, I, I was, I always knew, I was like, I, I want to be, uh, I want to get married, of course. I want to be a father. So when it happened, I idolized that. And I idolized that to the point to where, you know, I allowed this woman, I allowed this Jezebel, I allowed this spirit to nearly destroy me, to nearly kill me. And it's funny now because that spirit, that Jezebel can't stand the fact that I'm smiling without her. It can't stand the fact that I'm here without her. You know, it thought that, man, I, it, 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 it thought as soon as it left, and it tried to take everything from me with her that I was going to go running after her. No. God said, be still. You don't need to run after that. You've done your part. <laughs> you know, you've tried. You've tried. You've prayed. You've heeded my, you've heeded my, wor my warnings. You know, you learned how to do it right and you started operating in such now, unforgiveness and bitterness, they consumed me. They consumed me for, I think it stopped about about two months ago, uh, two and a half months ago. God was just like, forgive. And I did. And there's still residue that has to come out from that bitterness. But I'm forgiving that Jezebel. And the dream I had, you know, like it was about my family, but it was how content God has me now. It was a dream where I was purely watching. I wasn't interacting, wasn't touching, wasn't eating. So it was a, it was a vision. And I was like, wow, I'm content with not chasing after that. I'm content now that God has removed that idol from my life. And I can tell you, like, I'm even more happy now. You know, I, I, I can't wait to go back to being a father again. Um, and I, I already know God is going to bless me abundantly with uh, with a kingdom marriage. But I wanted to do this video to talk about how we idolize our relationships and the fact that it can hinder us severely in our spiritual walk. And I want to put this message out there to you guys. Again, it's kind of like my little testimony. I fell into that trap of idolizing my marriage, or idolizing this woman that had no good intentions for me from the start. Now, were there good times? Absolutely. But where I am with God now, I never was when this, when this woman, when this Jezebel spirit that is possessing her was in my life. I did not have this joy about my life that I have now that um, this Jezebel is gone. You know, I take joy in looking up at and looking at looking up at the sunsets. You know, I take joy in going out and working something, going out working all day. You know, I take joy in getting up and reading my Bible right now. I take joy in getting in, in getting in my word and praising God. I take joy in it now. Oh, here we go. <laughs> People, I was in my blind spot. A joy that I did not have before. Sir, if you don't get your car out the way, Jesus. I don't know how people like doing that. They like, they like driving weird, God. But I take a joy in a lot of things that I overlooked before. I mean, before, my only joy was being a dad and being a father. You know, um, 
I didn't even realize it. But until I had that dream, I had lost. I had. I, I lost so much joy, um, trying to make it work, trying to be committed to someone that to a Je to a Jezebel spirit that doesn't have my best interest at heart. This Jezebel spirit will rather see you dead and buried. The Jezebel spirit wants to see you hurt and broken. So trick it up and be happy. I'm telling you the truth. Trick the Jezebel spirit up and be happy. Be happy. <laughs> you know, you know I, 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 this, I tell everybody all the time. You know, when you get with God, that's the missing piece. I, I was talking to another young lady today. Uh, the same young lady that I, I, was doing, I was doing a mentor video on. And uh, we were, I was breaking it down for her um, in, the sense of, in the sense of scripture. Uh, because I'm like, you know, you can't, you can't really sit here and be upset at what has happened when God has warned you many times. And, you know, I, I informed her, I'm like, hey, what you did can cost you your life. And I asked her, you know, was it worth it? Was it worth not following God? Is your life worth it? Because you have something that you need to do here on this earth as well. And you could have very well stopped that destiny by your disobedience. So that's something to think about tonight, guys. I'm going to get back to work here, but uh, let that marinate on you guys tonight, all right? You guys have a blessing, man. I pray the entire arm of God over you guys, my family, Lashana. <laughs> um Love with Tidra. Tiandra, I'm sorry. Good God. Ugh, never Tidra. And all the views of this video, I pray the entire armor of God over all of us. Well, over all of us. So that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. You guys take care, okay? Have a blessed one, okay?